may or may not have the iPad going on here in the in the tower with that going on eventually here. Well, Back here we go. They're two by two. We're ready to hit the first green flag of the season. They roll around the bottom, three and four. They're going to pick up the pace. Here we go. Green flag is out in the Avila Bank. Heat race number one for your IMCA stock cars. We hurry and scurry on down to turn one and two right now on the speedway. That's as they run in that car number I-80, here comes a Dylan Solom and a Donovan Smith. Dynamite works the outside. Three wide, make it four wide on the exit of turn number four. Oh, the class two tough to tame wins up to it right away. The I-80, Dylan Solom working that bottom side. He's got company on the back bumper. That is Caden Reynolds. Reynolds takes a look. He'll throw it to the bottom. You're still three across this time. Oh, it's Dynamite, Donovan Smith in the 35-year leader. The 64, Vernon Jackson. The I-80 is sitting in third. The one of Caden Reynolds in the fourth spot. The 12T, that's the 12T machine of, I'm sorry, 12 in of Gage Deal. Now working his way out. Three wide for the race lead on the turn number four. Reynolds on the inside. Dynamite, Donovan Smith, still your race leader. Smith makes a surge on the outside as he makes the high line work through one and two, turn and burn into the back straightaway. It's Smith showing the way. The one of Reynolds is right there waiting to pounce. He'll go to the bottom, Smith to the top, into the straightaway, give it to the 35, holding on. Four laps complete, four, uh, four laps down, four laps to go. It's still Donovan Smith in that 35-year race leader. The one of Keenan Reynolds sits in second. The 64, Vern Jackson is in third. Then it is Gage Deal, 12 in. Austin Bozick to 14B in that fifth and final transfer spot. Reynolds to the slide jump on it. Smith. Smith to the crossover move. Three to go. Reynolds now crosses him over in one and two. A pair of sliders exchanged side by side down the back straightaway. The shootout is on. It is Reynolds on the bottom. Smith to the top. This time, Reynolds will get the bumper out in front. Green held high, two laps to go. Hayden Reynolds in that one-year race leader. Donovan Smith in second. Now Vern Jackson sits in third. Gage Neal now getting being pounced right now by the 14B of Austin Bozick. Remember Reynolds, Smith, and Jackson right now hold those three wrong, uh, hold the top three spots on the speedway. But all five of these cars right now are going on with one to go. You're going to take him down around one and two. The 35 still on the point. He has Caden Reynolds there, has now surged out in front into three and four. Here comes your first heat race winner, the one of Caden Reynolds. Second place going to go to Donovan Smith, the 35, Austin Bosnick, the 14B, and round out your top four, Vern Jackson is there. Those four. So that was your Avila Bank heat race number one for your IMCA stock cars. Your winner there is the one of Caden Reynolds out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Up next will be your Central State Bank heat race number two in your IMCA stock cars presented by Drury Automotive and at Truck Repair. And on the pole of heat race number two, that is the 68 of Corey Hill out of Atkins, Minnesota. To his outside out of back, Battleground, Indiana, the 10 or the 10.05 or the 105, we'll say, of <laughs> Sheldon Oberly. Row number two, Braxton Franks is the eight machine in the nine, two, two, Tyler Moore to the outside. Row number three is Tyler Carey in that nine R machine out of Nashua, Iowa. The 77 M out of Boone is Jeff Mueller. Jimmy Gustin right, right here in Motown, the 19 inside row number four. To the outside, it's Braden Richards, the 11 R from Madrid. Final row will be the three is Kelly Shryock out of Fertile, Iowa, and the 19 at J of Jay Schmidt from Tamo. It's going to be, it looks like Jay Schmidt not making the call as we get ready to go green flag here in your Central State Bank heat race number two. We're going to send him down the straightaway into turn one for the first time. Sliding from bottom to top out there. That is Corey Hill, the 68. He crosses in front of two others but hangs on. Now he's the meat in the middle as we work three and four. Coming around, it's going to be Hill, it looks like. He's got challengers on both sides. Corey Hill, your leader on lap number one. But there is the slide job by Braxton Franks. By, by the 11R of Braden Richards. Richards able to take the top spot away. They go down to three and four. It is time. Braden Richards, your leader, in that second spot right now. Give it to the 105. That is the 105 machine on the speedway of Sheldon Overly in the 105. Fits in second. The jammer, Jimmy Gustin, now third. Back in that four spot, the 68. Is Corey Hill out of Atkins, Iowa. Then it is Jeff Mueller. Right now, up front, your race leader, Braden Richards. 
Richards leads him down around one and two another time. You've got Gustin, Mueller, and Hill in that battle for the two spot. We're going to follow him now. You've got your leader into three and four. He's going to roll it into the front straight away. Give another lap to the B. The 11R. I'll get that right. Right now, your race leader is that 11R. Braden Richards sits in second to the jammer. Jimmy Gustin, the 19. Trying to pounce on him is the 105 of Sheldon Oberly. Oberly trying to work to the outside. Can't get by the jammer. So jammer will hold the second spot. Second spot. Oberly in third. In fourth, here comes Mueller in the 77M. Kelly Shryrock right now holds that fifth spot on the speedway, but only the top four moving on. They now get to single file this time by. Richards is going to show the way you've got two left to go as Richards leads him down around one and two. Two laps to go for the 11R. Braden Richards, the 19 of Jammer. Jimmy Gustin sits in second. The battle is on for third. Jeff Mueller in the 77M, the 105 of Sheldon Oberly. They'll come off of the turn number four to the white flag and one to go, says Jason Van Sickle down on the flag stand. Richards trying to show the way one more time around. He's got it into the back stretch. He'll look at three and four. It'll be a checkered flag waiting as he hits the front straightaway. Give it to the 11R. Braden Richards is going to get there. So your winner of heat, your Central State Bank heat race number two, that is the 11R of Braden Richards from Madrid. Up next, your H&F Distributing heat race number three. And on the pole, the C29 out of Marshalltown. That's Gary Korn. And to his outside, the 13H out of Honey Creek, Iowa. That is T Travis Hatcher in the 13H. And the 23HR inside row two from Madrid, Rod Richards. And alongside the 577 of Cody Potter from Pell Lake, Wisconsin. Aaron Karts in the 40 machine out of Pulaski, Wisconsin. And outside of him in the 93, that is Michael Jeanette out of Kellogg. From Grundy Center, the 94, Steve Meyer is inside row four. And his company to the outside, oh, it's the A1A, Amy's favorite driver. That's Austin Kaplan. And final start of the 20J is Drayden Beers out of Kansas City, Missouri, running out your field four. Your HF shooting heat race number three. And your jury out of one of the Turkey IMCA stock cars are looking for the green off of four. Here we go to the green. We'll send the pack down into the corner for the first time. Travis Hatcher working the bottom. His company to the top side, the C29 of Corn. They are together. Nothing decided yet. Three and four. Hatcher to the bottom, Corn in the middle. Corn's going to get the better run. He'll lead the lap at the line. Corn, your leader, lap number one. It is Travis Hatcher sits in that second spot. Back in third is that 577 of Cody Potter right now running in third. Here comes Hot Rod. Rod Richards, the 23 HR, and the 93 of Michael Jeanette. They're fourth and fifth on the speedway. Now Jeanette to the fourth spot. Jeanette to that fourth and final transfer spot out of this stock car heat race. Turn and burn, out of two, down the back straightaway. Garrett Korn, the C29 now opens up five car lengths back to second. That's Travis Hatcher, the 13H. He can still see him, but he can't get to him. It's Jeanette, will follow that. He's up to the three spot. Potter running four. Down off the turn number two, it is Garrett Korn, the C29, the 13H is Travis Hatcher. Michael Jeanette, 93, trying to work the bottom side. Jeanette will slide it up, take the spot away from Hatcher. Hatcher going to cross back over. No, Jeanette will hold the second. Hatcher in third. In that four spot is the 577 of Cody Potter. Potter trying to pounce on the back side of Travis Hatcher. Down the back straightaway. When they come off at turn number four, five down, three to go for Garrett Korn in the C29. Well, right now, the 23 HR Rod Richards is on the outside looking in. He's running five. He needs to get up to that number four spot. That's the 577 Cody. Cody Potter running fourth. Corn still out in front. Jeanette now. He is closing on him, but he's going to run out of time. And we've got two to go. Two to go this time at the starter stand. It is a C29 Garrett Corn. The 93 of Michael Jeanette sits in that second spot trying to reel him down, but he's only got a lap and a half to do it now. Back in that third spot is Hatcher. Then it is that 577 of Cody Potter. Top three, mate, or top. Four go to the main right now. 
on the speedway with one to go. Here comes Jeanette trying to dive from to the inside. Jeanette gave him a look but couldn't stick. Corn down the back straight away. There's your battle for the number three spot right there, the 13H of Hatcher. Here comes your leader off turn four. It's Checkers at the line. Garrett Korn, the C29, leads them back to the line. Michael Jeanette moving up through the field, finishing in the number two spot. Travis Hatcher, the 13H, takes third. And your fourth and final transfer, the 577 of Cody Potter. And, of course, that was your h and Distributing Soccer Heat Race number three. Now coming out next on the speedway with your Fisher Trucking Heat Race number four for your stock cars. On the pole out of Martell, Iowa, the 20V. That is the Iceman, Dusty Viss. And to his outside, the Chelsea Charger, the 99D from Chelsea, Damon Murdy. 3H of Ty Hill is inside row two from Winterset. And also from Winterset, the 93L of Blake. Lehman. Row number three on the inside will be the A1, the A11. That is Tim Bowler from Chilton, Wisconsin. And outside of him at Pembroke, Minnesota, the 92. Dan Beck into the 92. Dalton Roby from Ames, the 64. X inside your next row. Troy Jerovitz, Iowa Falls, the 01. And tail in Charlie in the 5A out of Boone, Iowa. That is Tyler Pickett in the 5A. And that is how it's going to line up for your Fisher Trucking. Heat race at number four in your Jury Automotive and Truck Repair IMCA stock cars. Eight laps in distance. Top four moving to the A main. Everybody else will go to one of two stock car Bs. We are under green, headed into one and two. Right in the middle. Down the back straightaway, that's Damon Murdy. The 99D. He'll swing it up out of turn four and hit the front straightaway for the first time. He's going to lead lap number one. The Iceman, Dusty Viss, sitting second. Murdy, your leader. Then it is the 20B of Dusty Viss. Sits in second. In third right now, the battle between the 3H of Ty Hill and the 93L of Lehman. They're battling it out for that third, or third spot of the speedway. Dan McIntyre has put his tennis up into the top four in the 92. He's one spot on a transfer. He wants more. He now battles to Ty Hill on the 3H off of turn two. Oh, it's getting busy up front. The 99D of Murdy is there. This will give him another look. Can't quite get to him. Then after that, it's the 93L of Blake Lehman and the 3H of Ty Hill. But nothing is settled yet. It's Damon Murdy, the 99D, your race leader. Dusty Viss, the 20V in second. Back in third right now is the battle between Blake Lehman on the outside. Get McIntyre on the inside. Give the third spot to McIntyre. Now putting Lehman in that fourth and final transfer spot. Ty Hill is there. Here comes Tyler Pickett. He is working the highest side of the speedway. He's gotten by the general Troy Jerovitz in the 0-1 and now sets his sights on the 3-H of Ty Hill and the 93 of Blake Lehman. Down around one and two, yet another time. McIntoon, the 92 right there, sitting in the number three spot. Then the 93, Ella Blake Lehman. That's your fourth and final transfer. He's got company on the underside. Moving up to take a look to 3H, trying to reclaim it. Ty Hill back into the final transfer. Into the back straightaway you go. We're coming to white flag this time. Damon Murdy. Showing the way, the 99D moving up to his favorite line on the top side. White flag is out, one to go for the 99D, Damon Murdy. The 20V, a dusty fist in that second spot. They'll work their way down the back straight away and come off a turn three and four. And it will be to the checkered flag in your Fisher Trucking Heat Race number four. The winner of the 99D, Damon Murdy. Dusty Viss in second. Dan McIntyre in third. Ty Hill. Comes home in that four spot on the speedway. Troy Jerovitz trying to make his way through, but he could not get through. But your winner of your Fisher Trucking Heat Race number four goes to the 99D, the Chelsea Charter, Damon Murdy. Heat Race number five, sponsored by Spot on Calibration and Repair out of Atkins, Iowa. On the pole, scoot, scoot. Terry Doolin in that three-team machine out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And the outside out of South Haven, Minnesota, that's 25A of Andrea McCain. Row number two lines up with the 171 of Calvin Swanson out of Waterloo to the inside. Alongside the four, JR, that is Russell Dammy Jr., Sumner, Iowa. And the third row on the inside will be the 36, that's Larry Karts Jr. out of Pulaski, Wisconsin. The 18X and of Daniel Ekblad out of St. Peter, Minnesota. 
From Wilton, Iowa, the 71 of David Brandes is inside your final row. And to the outside, it's the game changer, Dallin Murdy from Chelsea, the 99X. And that is how it's going to line up for your spot on calibration and repair. Heat race number five of your stock cars. Again, looking for four to transfer to the A main. Everybody else will go to two B main events, where we'll take only two out of each of those B mains to get you to your 24 car field for tonight's stock car A feature event, which will be 30 laps tonight here at the Motown Speedway. So your final heat race for the stock cars. Once again, Scooter Doolin, in the 3T on the inside front row. He'll set the pace, bring him around. We're going to look for a green flag this time at the Dirt Defender flag stand. Field looking good as they roll into three and four. Everybody doing their part. Now they go to the gas pedal, and we've got green flag. Green flag is out. They go down into turn one and two. Henry McCain works the outside lane in that 25A car. Show work at there. Scooter Doolin just in second. Hang on, Kevin Swanson. In that 171 going around over in turn two. He'll keep it going. It is Andrea McCain, your leader. In second is Scooter Doolin. Russell Davey Jr. right now in third. Daniel Eckbutt. Here comes the game changer, Dallin Murray, working on the next car. Oh, Andrea, don't look now. Here comes the rest of them. McCain, the 25A, Doolin, Demi, and Murdy into the front straight away. They're side by side for the two spot. Down around one and two into the back stretch. It's McCain still hanging on, but Murdy, Murdy's got her sized up into three and four. He's going to try to split it and put the slider in. Oh, talk to the bumper. McCain, your leader, but the game changer, Dallin Murdy, the 90 on X. He started dead last in this heat race. He's working for the lead. He's got it up in turn two. Down the back straight away. It's the game changer, Dallin Murdy, the 99X. Adrian McCain sits in second. In third is the four junior, Russell Damey Jr. Daniel Ekblad, the 18X, sitting there. Now Ekblad's got the third spot off of turn two. Down the back straight away. Your leader, that's the game changer, Dallin Murdy. He's wheeling and dealing off turn number four into the front straightaway. Three to go this time by McCain hanging on to second. Oh, battle is on for the three spot. Dammy had it at the line, and then Ekblad. 99D of the Damon Murdy, or Dallin Murdy in the 99X car. Your race leader, the 25A of Andrea McCain sits in that second spot. Daniel Ekblad in third. The 71 at Brandy sitting in that four spot. Fifth is Russell David Jr. Then it's Scooter doing the 3T. The 36 is Larry Karch Jr. And then it is the 171 of Calvin Swanson. White flag will be out when they come off a of turn three and four. Rodney, one lap to go for the game changer. Dallin Murdy in the 99X. Murdy out in front and pulling away. Here's your battle for the number two spot. McCain there, the 25, down to the bottom side. That is Daniel Ekblad. Ekblad gives a look out of turn two, shows the front end, can't keep it there. Your leader, Whelan, out of turn number four. Checkered flag, it's going to go. Dallin Murdy will be the first one there. The race for second. Oh, my goodness. It is Andrea McCain, the 25A, hanging on by a thread. Daniel Ek Ekblad in the 18X, and the 71 of David Brandes rounds out your top four. There in your spot on the calibration and repair, IMCA Stock Car Heat Race number five. Up next will be the first of four in your Record Radio's IMCA Sport Mods. This heat race, of course, sponsored by the local UAW 893 on the pole. Of heat number one, the 74X is Camden Vincent from Nevada and outside of the 511 from Truro, Keith Simmons. Out of, Crescent, out of Crescent, Iowa, Cole Suko, the 75 is inside the next row, the 22 JR, Brady Hilmer, that's out of Dysert. Row number three is a 65, that is Doug Blagonia Jr. out of Shuring, Wisconsin, and outside of him is cousin Kyle, Kyle Olson in the K3 from Cedar Rapids. Alec Fett out of Burt, Iowa, the 08 and the 74 of Zachary Rahab out of Antigua, Wisconsin. Final row with the 21 artist Cole Finsky from Waukee, and the 91 from Franklin, Wisconsin is Cole Thomas. And that is us going to line up for your local UAW 893 heat race number one for your IMCA Sport Mods presented by Rugged Radios and Friesen Performance. 
Well, they fall into step as they roll through turn three. We're going to go to turn four. We're going to hit the gas pedal, and we've got racing into the front straight away. It is Camden Vincent, the 74X. He'll pin it to the bottom first time around one and two. They are stacked three across, battling for the number two spot. It's Camden Vincent trying to bring him back for the first time. He's going to have the advantage and give him lap number one. They'll go off into turn number one. It is right now your race leader, the 74 exit, Camden Vincent on the high side. But he's being challenged by Cole Suko in the 75. Suko looks to the inside. Here comes Suko. He'll slide up, try to take the lead. He will get it. It is Suko, your leader. And Vincent, secondly, yellow is out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Got one around over the bottom side of turn one and two. And that will bring out our first Precision Inc. caution in turn number one. And that is the 08 of Alec Fett. Back into that one, looking a little worse for the wearer there. I don't, I don't think it looked like that when he went out. You can almost hear the pit crew moaning from here. Little, little repair work to be done there. That can wait, however, as he remains out on the track. It, fortunately, I believe you can be told to go pit side because we are doing the one and done tonight because of so many cars. And it looks like the replay is getting ready to come up here on IMCA TV and Flow Racing. And we'll see exactly what happened going in the corner. He tried to drive in. looks like below the K3 of Kyle Olsen there. And Kyle, or no, the 22, I think that's the 22 junior of Brady Hilmer there. Kind of, he shut the door. Hilmer shut the door and Fett had to check up. And uh, by the time he checked up, somebody ran into the back end of him. That's what it looked like. Well, you can see how hard he was on the brakes. He saw the sparks flying out the back end there as he threw it into turn one. And he was on the binders as hard as he could and just couldn't hang it. And like you said, it is the one and done on the yellow. So even though he's able to roll, he will take it back to the pit side. Normally we, you know, normally, you know, usually we have a, a couple of other rules that come into place during our weekly show because there's so many cars in the pit area tonight. Uh, it's the one and done rule tonight, so very similar to what they run on the uh, over at Stewart Speedway last night as well at the Boone Speedway tomorrow night. You'll see the one and done rule in the heat races. Unfortunately, Alec Fett brought out the caution. That is the one and done rule here in the heat race event, so he'll go pit side, have to get ready for the B main. Thankfully, there's one sport mod B main, and I'm guaranteed he's going to be a favorite in the B main, but we'll see. He's got a long way to go out of the B main, but we're getting ready to go back to green. It's Cole Suko, your leader. Then it's the 74 uh, X of Camden Vincent sits in second. Brady Hilmer, the 22 junior, is third. The 5'11", of Keith Simmons, is fourth. And Kyle Olsen, the K3, sits in that fifth position on the speedway. At the wonderful drone cam over there off of turn one and two. We'll see what kind of shot it gives us. We go back to green flag off of four. Here we go. Down the front straight away. They're going to head for turn number one. And a good start for Zuko there. The 75 will show the way. He is leaving him in the dust, but we've got one around. Is he going to keep rolling? He's trying. He's up at the top side. Meantime, your leader down the front straight away. Zuko, then the 74X of Camden, Vincent. Zuko, Vincent, Simmons, your top three. Kyle Olsen, though, wants that third spot away from Simmons. They're side by side down the back straight away. Fenske in the 21R car sits in that fifth and final transfer spot. As it is up front, it's Suko, then Vincent. Now comes in Kyle, Kyle Olsen in the K3. Sits in that third spot on the speedway. And then back and forth, it is Simmons. Fenske right now holds that fifth and final transfer spot. He about got it crossed up down the speedway. We've got five down, three to go this time. Three more times around. Suko trying to run away and hide out in front. Running in the two spot, that is Vincent. Down the back straight away, he will go. Sneaking in, now behind him, Kyle Olsen. Cousin Kyle, the K3 takes her top side. He's gonna roll it off four down the front straight away. He's in third. Suko, your leader off at turn number two. The 74 exit of Camden Vincent, the K3 of Kyle Olsen. Look at that drone cam, giving out some nice shots as they go down the back straight away there. They come off a of turn before, white flag out, one to go for Cole Suko in the 75. Suko looking to take this one wire to wire as he rolls off two down the back straight away, looking good for that. Camden Vincent hanging on to the two spot. Cousin Kyle, then a big gap back after that to Keith Simmons. Checkered flag, it is going to go to the 75 of Cole Suko. 
Camden Vincent, the 74X. Kyle Olsen in the K3. Keith Simmons, the 5-1-1, will come in after that. And of course, your heat race winner, the that heat race sponsored by local UW 893. Our next heat race is sponsored by IBEW Local 204. Heat race number two for your regular radios, IMC Sport Mods, and on the pole of the 27K from Bakersfield, California. That is Xander Keelan. Outside of him, out of Cuba City, Wisconsin, that is the 42 of West Digman. Tyler Inman out of Altoona, wheel on the 7V tonight. He had a good night last night in Stewart. And the 20 of Braden Ehlers out of Slayton, Minnesota. Corey Postotnik in the 62C out of Boone, Iowa. Outside of him out of Dorchester, Nebraska is Trevor Noonan in the 66. Mary Hahn out of Lincoln, Nebraska. The 17H inside row four to the outside. It is the 8 of Tom Lathrop. Of the Tom Tommy Lathrop there in the 8 car. And the final row will be the Tyler Newrood and the 5T out of Dorchester, Nebraska, and Al out of Allison, Iowa. That is Mitch Grummet in the 29A Junior. That is the lineup for your IBEW Local 204 Heat Race number two of four in your Rugged Radio's IMCA Sport Mods presented by Friesen Performance. A green flag on the speedway right now. They'll go down into turn one and two. It is that 42 machine of Wes Digman there. The 20, the 20, the 20 of Braid Ehlers of Slate, Minnesota. Oh, we got a couple around over in turn one and two on the speedway. Yeah, this one's still sitting there. Corey Pistotnik trying to get it going. He'll go to the infield. And the guy's still one down there. He'll get it. Moving. That is Mary Hahn in the 17. Uh, we are still green as the field hits the back straight away. It's Digman, the 42. He's going to go to the bottom, trying to bring him off. He'll bring the field around down the front straight away. Chasing him is Braden Ehlers, the 20. Tyler Inman, last night's feature winner at Stewart, the 7B. Trevor Noonan is after that. And Tyler Nehru, the 5T. Here comes your leader off turn number four. Digman, your leader in that 42. Sits in that second spot as the 20 of Islers. In third right now is the 7B and Carter Vandenberg. Or sorry, and Tyler Inman in the 7B machine. Hit up the win last night. That is normally Carter Vandenberg's hot rod, but Inman driving it for Vandenberg. He'll slide in the middle. He'll go for second. All right now, up front is Digman, your leader. Now it is Tyler Inman in second, in third. Now Eilers in the 20 machine, the 66 of Trevor Noonan, and then the 5T of Tyler Narud in that 5T machine. As they run on the speedway right now, they'll work their way off at turn number four. You got a new leader. It is Tyler Inman in the 7B. We got one around over at turn number two. Yellow, oh, look out, yellow. look out. Your leader's coming up on the car, sitting there, parked in the no parking zone right into turn number two. But how about the 7V Tyler Inman? He's got the sled on rails again tonight, slicing and dicing. That was the 27K of Xander Keelan spinning out over in turn number two. So Inman trying to pick up right where he left off last night. Your feature winner. Looking to move that 7V on to the A main. Braden Eilers after that, the 20. Then Wes Digman, the 42. Trevor Noonan, the 66. And your final transfer spot right now, the 5T of Tyler Nehrud. You should have seen the drone shot we were getting here coming down the front straightaway as the car is going by. Now we're seeing the flag stand there, the official first dirt defender flag stand down there. Got a nice drone shot. The drone is out there flying. That is such a cool shot with that. All right, your field falling back in the line. Inman looking to bring him around back to go racing. Here we go. Back to green flag racing with two laps to go. It is Inman in the 17th, and it is Eilers in the 20 machine. 
Dwayne and Dickman in that 42 sits in that third spot. Up in that fourth spot right in the speedway. Remember the top five advance to the A main here in the sport mods. It is that 66 of Noonan. Here comes the 5T of Tyler Nerud. Do their white flag out one lap to go. Inman is out in front. Nerud and Noonan fighting back there. The 5T of Noonan sits there. Lathrop. Here we go out of turn four. Checker is waiting. It's going to go. Tyler Inman, the 7V, will be there. Braden Eilers, the 20. Wes Digman, the 42. Finishing in the number three spot. Tyler Nehru, the 5T, and Trevor Noonan, the 66. So your winner there in your IBEW Local 204 heat race number two of your sport mods was the 7V of Tyler Inman. Heat race number three, of course, being sponsored by Independent Auto right here in Marshalltown. It's Speedy Bray, Braden Carter, and the 0-1 from Oskaloosa. And the outside of him, it is Joss the Boss, Jocelyn Elmquist in the 18 from Boone. Ben Ryerson, the 25 out of Arlington, Minnesota, inside row two. And then it's T-2-3, that's T-O, Tony Olson out of Cedar Rapids. Number three, that is it. Drake Bullmeyer in the 24 from Beatrice, Nebraska, and the MR-31, and Mike Rutherford from Des Moines. Dylan Waldvogel, the 52 out of Antigua, Wisconsin, is inside row four in the 41. Tyler Titus coming to you, Baxter, Iowa driver. And your final starter in the 11K from Ackley, Iowa, that is William Clusterman, the 11K. And that is what's going to line up. Top five moving on to the A main. Eight laps of distance. Everybody else will go to a B here tonight for your sport ones as we are green here in your independent auto heat race number three. Here comes the field, round by the flag stand now into one and two. Carter wastes no time, putting the zero one on the point. That's where he's got it as he heads into turns three and four. We're going to bring him around down the straightaway. Speedy Bray, Brayton Carter's going to show the way first time by. Brayton Carter, your leader in that zero one, sits in that second spot is Jocelyn Elmquist in the 18. In third is the T23 of Tony Olsen. In the four spot is that 24 of Drake Bullmeyer from Beatrice, Nebraska. That's your top four. Tyler Titus holds that final transfer spot, but he is now under attack right now by the 25 machine of Bill and Ben Peterson out of Arlington, Minnesota. Out in front, the 0-1 of Brayton Carter. You can see his distance there. He's got put back to the number two spot. Carter into the front straight away by the flag stand one more time. Running in second it's Elmquist. Hanging on there. T.O. Tony Olson, the T23. Olson to the top. Elmquist around in turn number two. Elmquist oh, pulls down right in front of Klosterman. We are still green though. They got off the track. We're green, Foxman. Oh, the Brandon Carter, your leader, Tony Olson sits in that second spot. In third. It is the 24 of Kohlmeyer in fourth to tra Tyler Titus and then a 25 of Ben Peterson on the speedway right now. Or Rearson on the speedway. That says they run on the speedway with three to go. It is Speedy Bray, Braden Carter. Looked fast to the end of that feature last night as Stewart came home in second. Right now he's in the one spot better. The top spot with two to go. This heat race event brought to you by Independent Auto. Brayton Carter, a full straightaway advantage now as they wind their way down. Tony Olson, the closest to him. And then the 2-4, Drake Bollmeyer. There's Speedy Bray working his way into turns three and four. The 0-1 going to bring him out of turn four. White flag waiting this time. Dirt defender flag stand. You've got one to go. One lap to go for Speedy Bray. Brayton Carter in that 0-1. He'll work his way down the back straightaway. In that 0-1, it come off a of turn three and four. It will be to the checkered flag and the win for the 0-1. A speedy Bray Brady Carter here in the Independent Auto. Heat race number three. Checkered, uh, second comes on the T23 of Tony Olson. Third will go to the 24 of Drake Bullmeyer out of Pianta, Nebraska. And fit, uh, then a straight, Tyler Titus and Dylan Wadvogel gets the fifth and final transfer spot in car number 52. Heat race number four presented by Big 8 Tire Center. And on the pole, 
0-7 of Corey Kempke is out of Applington, Wisconsin. Outside of him from Vinton, Iowa, with the B21, that is Brandon Tharp. Hunter Clement lines up inside row number two out of Rhodes, Iowa, the 40 HC. And Gage Hilgenberg, the four out of Waukee to the outside. Josiah Taylor in the 193 from Boone on the inside of row number three. Alongside will be the 30M from Montezuma, McGuire D. Young. Jared Spaulding, Greenville, Wisconsin driver. The 22S is inside row four to the outside. The 44T, Logan Fees. Make that ties. Logan Ties will be there. Luxembourg, Wisconsin. And your final starter in the 77, uh, 777 out of Pearl City, Illinois. That's Race Mullen in the triple seven. The slot machine special for Mullen this year. We've got a live look in on IMCA Racing and IMCA TV Facebook page. So if you're tuning in for the live look in, we welcome you. I'm the Fox Man and Jeremy Fox alongside Rodney Tomlinson here at the Marshalltown Speedway. And we're glad to have you along. We want you to go on over to Flow Racing and IMCA TV. So you get a nice free live look in presented by My Race Pass. And of course, My Race Pass is a great to. Uh, Give us the lineups and all that uh, results for us each and every week here at the Speedway. So my race pass, great there. But uh, live look in on uh, Facebook and uh, on IMCA Racing and IMCA TV's Facebook page here at the Marshalltown Speedway. So, again, you can catch all the great racing action right here at Marshalltown Speedway. Our live streaming partners are Flow Racing. And tonight, Flow Racing and IMCA TV are working together. So working together, and it's going to be a lot of fun here. As we get ready to go to green here in this seat race, as here we go, we are going green off of four. Kim Keys, the 0 7 down to the inside. He'll stick it down there to the bottom, try to keep it as they slide around down the back straightaway. The B2 1, Brandon Tharp gets a better run of it. Tharp will go up to the top shelf, dust it off. Here he comes. Tharp down the front straightaway. That's your leader, lap number one. Down to turn one and two goes your race leader. That is a 0-7 of Kempke's on the bottom side of the speedway. The B-21 of Brandon Tharp sits in that second spot, but Tharp went out looking for the race lead. Tharp brooks the high side. Kempke's works the bottom side of the speedway. It is Tharp, Kempke's, then it's Hilgenberg, and then it is McGuire de Young, and right now in that 44 car, that is the Logan Ties right now in that fifth position. De Young goes from the top side to the bottom. The 30M hunting and searching for a line. He's got it on the move into the front straightaway that time. We've got yellow out on the speedway. Sounds like there may be a piece of a little Jack debris back there. That dang French race is trying to show up again. Well, Jacques hasn't been here for a while, so you know. Well, I, I would have been surprised if Jacques made it during the summertime, you know, when the Olympics are going on in Paris, you know, trying to run away from the Olympic Games out there. But uh, apparently Jacques Dupree decided he needed to show up tonight. So you've got six remaining in this one as the caution flag flies. Brandon Tharp, the B21, he's going to sit on the point when we go back to green. Corey Kimkes, the 07, will line up in that number two spot. Behind him, you're going to see who do we have back there? Can't read it. So we got Tharp, Kimkes, Hilgenberg, Hilgenberg thank Young, you. and then it is Ties, or Tees. Uh, then it's Taylor. Then it is the 22S of Spalding, the 777 of Mullen. And then rounding out your field is the 40HC. That is Hunter Clement in the 40HC. See, that's what I get for looking at my phone and, and trying to get that there instead of looking at the cars. Because <laughs> it just says missing data. It, it's only early in the season. You, you got to read the numbers and then all the stuff there. But we're getting ready to go to the green flag as we have got. Two laps down. It's still six to go here in your Big A Tire Center. Heat race number four. Kim Keys, the 07. He's going to do some yard work down there around the bottom to the high side. It's the B21. Brandon Tharp. Tharp takes it up to the cushion. He's going to roll it off a of turn number four and jump down the front straightaway. He's got the lead at the line. Kim Keys running in that two spot. 
Right now it's Brandon Tharp in that B21 year race leader. The 07 at Kempke sits in second. The four at Hilgenberg in third. The 30, Emma McGuire to Young. De Young will look to the inside of Hilgenberg now for that third spot on the speedway. But right now it is still Hilgenberg holding on to third. De Young wants that third spot. Again, top five are moving on. So right now in that fifth and final transfer spot is Josiah Taylor. He has got Spalding. He has got Tease. He's got Mullen right there on the back side of him. Three to go this time. And a nice shot, Hilgenberg and Young in the battle there for the three and four spot. The 193, Josiah Taylor. We're going to roll it out of turn four into the front straight away. Your leader, the B21, Brandon Futt, two to go. Your second place car, if Kempke's pulled on the infield, not sure the issue's there. But the B21, Brandon Thorpe is your leader. Second now, Hilgenberg. Third, McGuire to Young. Fourth right now is Spalding. That's Josiah Taylor around. That now moves in, ties into that final transfer spot. He is now under attack of Race Mullen on the speedway white flag out. One to go for B21, Brandon Tharp. We stay under action. Out of two and down the back straightaway. Tharp has this one in command as he hits turns three and four. DeYoung now has moved up to the number two spot. He'll roll it off the high side. Your leader, your winner, Brandon Tharp. DeYoung in the drag race gets there for the two spot. Hilgenberg will follow him. Jared Spalding, the 22S, and the slot machine special, the triple seven of Race Mullen, moves to that last qualifying spot. First of four, and you're tired even by left hand by MCA Modifieds, and on the pole for your Mid-State Boring Heat Race number one, it is the 12TB. That is TBJ, Tom Berry Jr. out of Des Moines, Iowa, and outside of him out of Wasika, Minnesota, that is Todd Steiner in the 7S. Jason Bass out of Fort Dodge is the four inside row two. Paul Nagel out of Nevada, the 0-5. Jeremy Thornton in the 18 JT out of Chandler, Arizona. Outside of him, making a long pull from Port Hardy, British Columbia, Canada. The 27A, that's 27EH, but it's pronounced A in Canada, Lawrence O'Connor. The 12T of Cody Overton out of Thompson, Georgia, sits inside. And Jake McBurney, a little shorter haul from Boone, the 82. Well, we just saw his son Hunter run a sport mod. Now we see him in the modified. That is Hot Rod, Rod Clement in the 40-yard seat from Rhodes running out your field here in your Mid-State Boring Heat Race number one. They'll tip to the way through the Toby Case hideaway turn number three and then head off over to the drive-in at the North Carolina Dairy Queen, ready to drive out of that Dairy Queen from Dilly Bars with some Dilly Bars or some blizzards. We are green off of four. TBJ, Tom Berry Jr. takes him around one and two. He'll slide from the bottom up to the penthouse. Out of turn two and down the back straightaway. Tom Berry Jr. jumps out in front by three. He's going to bring it back to the line. Your leader lap number one. After that, you've got the 7S of Todd Steinart, Paul Nagel, Jason Bass, and the 27EH of Lawrence O'Connor. TBJ, Tom Berry Jr. out front leading and Todd Steiner in that 7S. It's in the second spot. Paul Nagel, the 05, is sitting in third. Here comes the battle for fourth on the speedway. It is Jacob Turner, the 82. Jason Bass, the fourth. And then it is O'Connor in the 27. A car on, on the outside of him now is the 12 T machine. Give those spots away. But right now is TBJ, Tom Berry Jr. in the 12. TB, your leader. Down the front straight away. We'll take it down into turn number one. Making the move down on the bottom. Cody Overton, the 12 T, slides it up behind Mick Burney. You've got Overton looking for a spot behind that. Jason Bass, the four. Your leader still, Tom Barry Jr. Uh, up on it is that 12 a TB of a Tom Barry Jr. He'll work his way down to the Toby Case Hideaway. Turn three. Now off the turn north of the Dairy Queen at turn number four. It is TBJ, Tom Berry Jr., your leader in that second spot. It is a 7S of Tom Steinhardt in third. The 05 of Paul Nagel. Fourth is the 82 of Dave McBurney. Then it is the 12 of Team Machine of Overton right now running deep in the field. This time by. Green goes high in the air. Two to go for TBJ. He's making this one look easy. Tom Berry Jr. runs it around the bottom of one and two. He'll take it into the back straight away. It's still the seven of Steinhardt running second. There's Mick Burney. Mick Burney is in the number three spot as he throws it around the bottom and now slides up across. Mick Burney looking for a spot. Give it to him at the line. 
TBJ will work his way off of turn at number two and down the back straight for the one final time. He'll come off at turn number four. It will be to the checkered flag. That is the 12 of TV of Tom Berry Jr., your winner. Second will go to Todd Steinhardt. Third to Jake McBurney. Then it is Cody Overton in that 12 team machine in a four spot. Fifth is Paul Nagel. Those will be your top five cars transferring on to the A main out of heat race number one presented by Mid State Boring. It's time for heat race number two presented by RBF Electric. RBF Electric, the 3W, Garrett Wilson sits on the pole to the outside. Spencer Deeks, Dukes, the 21. Of course, the 3W, Garrett Wilson, mom. Christian celebrating her birthday, so happy birthday, Mama Wilson. Uh, row number two on the inside will be the six. Out of Dubuque, Iowa, is Jed Freiberger. And outside of Jed Freiberger will be the 75 from Webster City. That is Greg Elliott. Inside row three, he is red hot. From Newton, the 111, that's Ethan Broxma. To his outside, Joel Russ, the 26J from Grundy Center. Inside row number four will be the 77T out from Lakewood, Colorado, Trip Gaylord. And outside of Trip will be the 69. That's the Bobcat, Jonathan Logan out of Logansport, Iowa. Jackson Sadoff, Beatrice, Nebraska. The 96 is on the back end. The kid jet there in the Jackson Sadoff in the 96, as you mentioned. Ethan Broxma, how hot is he? He's won five nights in a row. One down to the Mountain Dew Bloomfield Speedway. Or one last night to Stewart Speedway. Last weekend, one down to the Mountain Dew Bloomfield Speedway. A week before that, he won at Scott and Kennedy Memphis, Missouri. He's got seven feature wins already on the year. We go green off in the North Dakota Dairy Queen, turn number four. Year field down the front straightaway. End of the first turn, first time around. Into the back straight away they go. The 21, Spencer Dirks will try to make the move. He's going to slide it off turn four. Give him the lead into the front straight away. His company, that's Garrett Wilson. Right now, your leader in that 21 is Spencer Dirks out of Devonport, Iowa. In that second spot is Garrett Wilson. In third, here comes Joel Russ, the 26J. Joel Rust, I've seen him move, make that move many, many nights here in the Marshalltown Speedway as Elliott goes around over turn three and four. We'll see if we keep her green on the speedway here. Up front right now, it is the 21 year race leader, Dirks. Rust in second, in third, Garrett Wilson. Fourth right now is Ethan Broxma. Then it's the six of Jed Freiberger. Here comes Trip Gaylord, the 77 T machine. Gaylord wants that spot from Freiberger on the speedway. We stay green this time. They head down around, end of the back straightaway. Dirks is out in front. The 2-1's got four car links over the 26J of Joel Rust. Rust slides it around the cushion, chasing your leader. Back to the number three spot. They're side by side. It's Garrett Wilson, the three and W there that gets it. Right now up front in the 21 is Spencer Dirks, your leader. In that second spot is Joel Rust, the 26J. Garrett Wilson sits in third. Ethan Proxma in the 111, in fourth, in fifth is Freiberger in the sixth. Then it's Rick Gaylord. Gaylord now wants this spot. Give that spot to Gaylord. And then you've got right now the battle on the speedway. As now Freiberger trying to work his way back. Rost is getting closer and closer to your race leader in the 21 of Dirks. Does he have enough time? Two to go this time. Russ definitely eating into that gap between first and second. Out of turn two. Look at him close down the back straightaway. It is Dirks and Rust. Rust, he's pedaling hard. He's got a white flag and one to go. White flag in the hand. On that flag stand, they'll work down in the corner off of turn number two. Rust looks there. Oh. Contact made between the 21 of Dirks and Rust. Rust. Goes around, checkered out, checkered out on the speedway. The 21 of Dirks, Wilson comes home third to 77T of Gaylord, then Freiberger, and then it's Bob Bobcat, Jonathan Logue. And your first and second place got together back there coming out of turn number two. And uh, Russ getting the worst end of that, just racing action. The caution coming, at, or the checkered flag in the caution coming out there with the 26J Joel Russ kind of going for a spin cycle on the back straightaway there. We get ready for heat race number three here shortly. Hey, Fox man, we got another live look in going on brought to you by Race Pass. Welcome. This is the last part of it, so 
Again, if you want to watch the complete show, go to IMCA TV. You can get tonight there, or you can go to our normal race streaming partner and watch it on Flow. It's all tonight on the IMCA TV and Flow Racing. Giving them options tonight. Nate, our cameraman up here in the tower, must be getting cold. He turned his space heater on up here. You can slide that over this way a little bit. I'm going to feel it nice and toasty when it eventually gets warmed up here. Heat race number uh, three for your IMCA Modifieds presented by KFJB, 1230 AM and 93.9 FM here in Marshalltown. And on the pole, that is Kelly Schrack in the three out of Fertile, Iowa, and Dylan Thornton in the 38T out of Orcutt, California. Ethan Roby, the 7R out of Ames, and alongside, that's Charlie Moore from Bettendorf, Iowa, the 99. T-Dub in the 40TW out of Hardcourt, Iowa, the 28 is Trevor Fitz out of Carmelo, California. The 8 machine is Griffin Taylor out of Kannapolis, North Carolina. The 5 is Todd Zilla, Todd shooting the 2 C is Kerry Umbarger out of Gardner, Iowa. We are green. Shryock and the three. His company to the high side. Dylan Thornton, the 38T. Rough night last night trying to make up for it. Thornton, he goes out in front by four into three and four. Dylan Thornton down the front straight away. He's got Shryock in second. Dylan Thornton showing the way in that 38T machine in that second spot. Is the 28 of fifth, but now it's Tryock into second. Fitz is in third. Tonzilla, Todd shoot in the fourth spot. Then it's Moore. Then it's Tita of Tim Ward. Trying to work his way now for that final transfer spot on the speedway. Top five are moving on right now. It is Shryock right now in the second spot as Dylan Thornton, the 38T, has pulled away. Thornton wheels off four into the front straightaway. Your battle is for the number two spot. You've got Shryock, Fitz, and Shoot there. They're going to try to stack them three across. And Shryock says, no, I'm going to stay out here. You boys can chase. Here we come. Down the front straightaway once again. Dylan Thornton shows the way. Dylan Thornton, the 38 team machine, the old race leader. Up in that second spot is Kelly Shryock in the three. The 28 machine is Trevor Fitz. Then here comes the five of Todd Zilla. Todd shoot. Shoot will work to the bottom side. The shoot will slide it up on the speedway. Can't get it done right now. It is still Dylan Thornton, your leader. Tryock in second. Then it is the 28 of Fitz. Shoot wants that fourth spot on the speedway. Or third spot on the speedway. Thornton still out in front. He's going to bring him to the line another time. Two laps to go. Green flag high in the sky. Into the back straightaway, Thornton. Then it is Shryock. Shryock has fought off all comers for the number two spot. Behind that, Todd shoot, Trevor Fitz. And your final transfer right now, that's for TW of Tim Ward. White flag out, one to go. That time for the flag stand. They'll work their way around to the back straightaway. Come off a of turn three and four. It will be Deli Deli Dylan Thornton, the 38T, taking home the win. In the second spot, it will be the three of Kelly Shryock. In third, the 28 of Fitz. Fourth to go to Tom Zeloton shoot. And your fifth and final transfer spot, that is T-Dub and Tim Ward in the 4TW running out. Your top five finishers there in your KFJV 1230 AM and FM 93.9. Heat race number three in your modifieds. Up next, your Kicks 101.1 heat race number five, Rodney. 23K sits on the pole. That's Caden Cochran is there. The 30W to the outside, Daniel Wilcox. Inside number two, we Tyler DeBoosh shot of Green Bay, Wisconsin, the 66. And the 19S is Chase Weimer from Eldora. Isaac Malakote wheels the 11 out of Boone into his outside. Hey, it's the Rocket. Jerry Flippo, Bakersfield, California, the 13. The 22B is Brian Eppert out of Ogden, Iowa. And outside of him, out of Phoenix, Arizona, the 5M, Zachary Madrid. You know, at least if those Arizona boys are going to come up here, they could have brought the warmer weather with them. Yes, they sure could have. Would not have argued. You know, somebody said the other day, and I just loved it, L enough of the spring. Let's go back to winter when it was 70 degrees. Can we do that? As Tony Paris said last night, I don't want to hear you complaining when it's 100 degrees out when you're complaining it's cold now. Here we go. Underway, green flag is out. Cochran in the 23K is down to the bottom side. Daniel Wilcox taking advantage of that high side hustle. It's down the back straight away. Wilcox will surge out to your early lead. Flippo caught to the outside. Now he's going to try to look to split him. Flippo to the gas pedal down the front chute. Wilcox 
Josh Shalier in that 30X or 30W machine. And then there's Katie Cochran in the 23K sits in second. Malico looks to the inside of Flippo. Here comes Jerry Flippo, the rocket. He'll look to the inside. He'll look to slide it up. Take the two spot away. He'll get it away from Cochran. Malico looking to the inside of Cochran now for that third spot. Malico slides it up the racetrack. Takes the third spot away. Cochran now back to fourth. It's Will Cox, your leader. Then it is in that second spot, Jerry Flippo in third. It is Malico in the 11. Daniel Wilcox, the 30W, still showing the way out in front. Flippo runs it right up to the edge at turn one. He hangs on and heads down the back straightaway. Malakote sits in the number three spot. After that, we go back to the 2-3K of Caden Cochran. Down to turn the one and two with four laps to go. It's Wilcox, your leader, Flippo in second. Flippo about pushed it off the top. Down in one and two. Malico runs in second. And you've got Cochran in third and fourth. In fifth right now. It is that 19S of Weimer, Tyler DeBoosh. Now Tyler looks to take this final away. Three to go. Five down, three to go. We've got one round on the bottom side. That is Eppert sitting down there. And we'll see if that warrants a caution. Looks like he's out of harm's way enough. We'll stay green on the racetrack. Green goes high, two to go. This time for Wilcox. Malico trying to show the bumper to Flippo. He's going to take it around on the high side. Flippo goes bottom to top. He keeps it up in front of the 11. The 11 now with a surge. It is Malico and Flippo. The battle for the two spot. Flippo on the high side. Your leader coming to the white flag still, Wilcox. Wilcox will lead it away in that 30X machine. He'll work it down off a of turn two. Jerry Flippo sits in the second spot. Malakote in third. Here comes the rocket. Jerry Flippo trying to do it. He's not going to do it. It'll be Wal Wilcox. Daniel Wilcox to the win. Jerry Flippo in second. Isaac Malakote in third. Kate Cochran fourth. Fifth and final transfer spot. We'll go to the 66th and final to Bouge. The 19S of Chase Weimer will miss out one spot. And then, of course, in, or the 5M of Madrid. Then the 19S of Weimer will finish home in the 6th and 7th spot with Eppert running out your field. That will wrap up your Modified Heat Race events. That Modified Heat Race sponsored by Kicks 101.1. Carl Customs bringing you your first IMCA Sport Compact presented by hy V. As they get ready to come out, 89, Christian Grady will bring them on the pole. Alongside the 23K, that's Aaron Kirkpatrick. And it looks like Stephen Smith, the 333 out of Vinton, Iowa, the five of Oliver Munson out of Thornton, Iowa. Corwin Wishler, the 21 is inside row three, and Josh Backstrom, the 19 to the outside. And the 03 of Gavin Wessler, uh, Wessler out of Waterloo, and the 15 of Emma Jeremy Wheeler from Finton. And your final row, row five, the 712, Levi Volkert will be there, and Brooke Osler, the 07, rounds out the field. Top five transfer. Of course, Reminder to get those 50 50 tickets if you're out here around the racetrack. Remember to get those 50 50 tickets. So she's going through the selling, and she came up and gave me last up, and it was at 